Thanks for joining us again here at day two of our fall fiesta, where we're going to introduce you to our rapid fire star building tools. Now, these are tools and techniques and processes that I've designed to make these intimidating blocks that we've stayed away from in the past. You're gonna get a chance to see how quickly and easily, even with modest quilting skills, you can create these bucket list projects. Now, don't forget, keep your habit wanted list nearby so you can check off those things that you wanna to add to your toolbox and also, don't forget to jot down your questions so that we can address those at our event on Saturday. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to my Rapid Fire Hunter Star. Now, this is a, actually the very first tool that I ever created, and I created it to create Hunter Star quilts, bucket list quilts. And whether you're familiar or not, this is what a traditional Hunter Star quilt looks like, but when you build a hunter star block, this is what it looks like. And with my tool and my process, I figured out a way that I can create these oversized and trim them down so that when I build my quilts, I get a much higher success rate because everything is trued up and, and squared off and ready to go. Um, the hunter star block has familiar shapes. It has two triangles, it has four diamonds, and then it has the shape in between the diamonds that's called a trapezoid. And what I realized when I was working with this block many years ago is that the only thing that had to be accurately cut was the trapezoid. I create these as piece triangles, and the trapezoid has to be precision cut, then add oversized diamonds to the end, add oversized triangle to create a half of the block, and when I put the block together, I could then easily trim it down and clean it up because all of the oversizing is around the outside edge. And I'm going to walk you through the process briefly, but let me tell you about the two tools that we have. The, we have the Petite Star, does four different size blocks for the Hunter Star, five inch, six inch, seven inch, and all the way up to eight inch size. And then we have the Large Star. This is for those of you who like to make those big quilts, you can make bigger blocks seven, eight, nine, or 10 inch blocks, and you don't have to make so many of them. So both of the tools do seven and eight inch sizes, um, but one does two sizes smaller, the petite, and one does two sizes larger, that's the large star. So we're gonna be talking about the petite, and let me take a minute and walk you through the process. Those trapezoids are gonna be cut from strips. There are guidelines on the edge of the tool that you could line up on the strips to create precision trapezoids, then instead of cutting diamonds, what I figured out was I could lay down a diamond strip, flip the trapezoids, stitch them one behind the other, give them a press and cut them apart, and I'm going to have one oversized diamond attached to a trapezoid with no four letter words involved, and that includes the word pins. Now, I lay down a second strip, stitch those units on, give them a press, and when I trim those apart, I'm going to have two oversized diamonds attached to the trapezoid. Straighten out that one edge that's going to receive the triangle and work through quickly and easily, add the triangles, create the two piece triangles, and then use this tool to trim the shape down and clean it up. And what I'm going to do is line up the center diagonal on the center seam, and then the star guides, the common one and the size for what I'm making, over top of those guidelines and trim. Trim the first corner, rotate the unit, trim it to exactly six and a half inches by six and a half inches so that every block is square, every block is on the straight of the grain. When I go to build my quilt that requires them all to fit together, they're gonna fit together nicely. And I can make this in a matter of hours and instead of days and weeks and months. So in the set of instructions, there's a bonus project and the bonus project talks about making uh, a handful of blocks, 16 blocks, either in the two color variation, which is the most traditional, in the three color variation, where you've got two colors for your triangles and your trapezoids, and a third color for your diamond points, and also how to create a project in a four color variation. And once you've made the practice one, I'm sure that you're gonna wanna go and make a bigger one, and rather than having you try to figure out all the math, uh, which you can do with a set of instructions, we've actually created two field guides. And these are formula books that we've created. One for the Petite Star, 
one for the large star, that give you yardage information for more than 200 projects from wall hanging to California King in two color, three color, four color variation. How much fabric do you need for the diamonds? How much fabric do you need for the triangles, for the trapezoids? And so their formula books are great to have in conjunction with the tool. And we've also gone on with this tool and created two full comprehensive books. Again, one for the petite star and one for the large star. Hidden treasures will make a generous lap size project for everyone with a simple, a simple fabric recipe. What can you make from eight dark fat quarters and eight light fat quarters? It's amazing. And this one, Royal Treasures, does queen and king size working with the large star tool because, you know, there's no hard fast rule that says you have to make your traditional hunter star like a log cabin where half is dark and half is light. What I realized before I, when I was teaching classes and before these books were, were created was that I could put two dark halves together or I could put two light halves together and create blocks that look totally different than a traditional hunter star. So if hunter star is on your bucket list, I'm going to encourage you to get the rapid fire hunter star tool in your lineup and work through this, the, the practice project that comes along with and jump into that big project. You'll be so glad and you'll actually get it finished. So I hope you enjoy the little trunk show that we have of patterns that we've created to go along with the tool and some of the projects that are on the inside of both of these books. Did you realize that the instructions that come with every Studio 180 design tool is just the right amount? Not too much, not too little, fully complete, fully illustrated. They'll talk you through not only building units, but trimming them down. And they'll show you how to do that whether you're right-handed or you're left-handed. They contain the charts and the numbers to be able to take advantage of all the different size offerings that are included with each tool. And you know, if you'd like to take an opportunity to read the instructions, to learn about the tool, all you have to do is visit our website, visit our tool page, and go to the free downloadable instructions. You can read about them because you do understand knowledge is power. And the more you know about Studio 180 design and our tools, the more you're going to appreciate having those in your toolbox. Now the next tool I'd like to introduce you to is my second rapid fire tool. It's my rapid fire Lemoyne star. And if any of you have ever tried to make a Lemoyne star block, you know that it's pretty challenging. And most of the time you're given templates for the diamonds, for the squares and the triangles and asked to build those with Y seam constructions. Well, a couple of years ago, I developed a process that allows me to build the Lemoyne stars with strip piecing and also to build them slightly oversized and trim them down and clean them up. Um, when you purchase the tool, it looks like this. Realize that the packaging is also your set of instructions. So don't throw those away. And when you work through the process, I'm going to give you a brief overview of how, it, how you proceed. The first decision is the size. The tool does 10 sizes. It starts at 3 inch and goes to 12 inch. I probably wouldn't start this small. I might make a 6 inch block for my first attempt. But once you know the size you want to make, you're going to need four strips. You need two strips that become the diamond points and two strips that become the background points. And you strip piece those pieces together, layer the sets, cut through them at a 45 degree angle, make a second cut to each of these sections, a vertical cut. And once you've done that, you've created all the shapes that you need so that when you add the triangles to the edges, you actually end up building a Lemoyne triangle. Now, this shape is oversized. That's on purpose. And 
That's where the magic of the patented lines on here come into play. These guidelines will line up with the seams that are already sewn and already pressed to trim that diamond point to exactly the right size to build a six inch block or a three inch block or a 12 inch block. But I'll trim the edges and I'll do that for all the points so that when I pick up two of the points to sew them together, well, the edges are gonna line up. Yeah, cause you just trimmed them. And you know what else is gonna happen? That seam that used to be a challenging Y seam construction nests and matches beautifully so that when you stitch, you actually end up creating a square. It's on the straight of grain, and then all you need to do to create your Lemoyne Star block is put those four squares together well, and you're going to have a beautiful Lemoyne Star block that's still oversized. You can probably see it. It doesn't look so pretty around the edges now, but when I come back with my favorite trim down tool, the Tucker Trimmer, and clean up those edges, I will end up with a block that's exactly the right size with all my points in place. And I do this in a matter of minutes instead of hours and days to create my Lemoyne Star blocks. On the back of the set of instructions, we have a bonus project. And that bonus project uh, will require that you test all the different sizes that are on the, that are on the tool. Three inch, four inch, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All those sizes are in this sampler. Put them together, you've got a nice little wall quilt. But you know what? If Lemoyne stars are on your bucket list, do not hesitate to get this tool. You are going to be falling in love with Lemoyne stars, and you should realize they're very addicting. So pick up the Lemoyne star at your local quilt shop, or come directly to us, and we'll get it in your hand as soon as possible. For those of you who are fans of my Rapid Fire Lemoyne Star tool, you should know about our technique sheets that we've developed for that specific tool. There are seven of them in all, and they range in difficulty from medium to a little bit challenging, but these are looks that you can give to your Lemoyne Stars that are totally different than the regular Lemoyne stars that you can make using the Lemoyne star tool. And um, I'd like to take a minute and share those with you, but realize that before you jump into the technique sheets, you should make sure that you're pretty familiar with the tool and the basic workings and construction processes that are associated with the rapid fire construction techniques before you jump into these so that you get success when you're done. But it's a pretty amazing some of the things that we've created using the Lemoyne Star tool. One of the first ones we developed was to use the back end of the tool and it's called Fussy Cut Lemoynes. And you can see that each of those diamonds are fussy cut out of there. That one's medium in difficulty. This is a technique sheet that we call Lemoynes as triangles. And we use those triangles not just to create blocks, but we can also use them for setting. And how you do that and how you create all these different variations are not only on our technique sheets, but they're also on our videos. So if you can take a few minutes to, to check that out, you can see how they're built before you uh, invest in them. This is a technique that we call strip piece Lemoynes, and it's not hard at all, but it gives your Lemoynes a totally different look. This one's called Starburst Lemoyne. It's one of the new kids on the block. So that's another one of our technique sheets. This is one of my favorites. It's called Banded Lemoines. Now this one has a five star difficulty. So be familiar, be well grounded, and you'll have better success with this one, the Banded Lemoine, this one, the Liberty Lemoine, and another one of our 
favorites, which is called blazing Lemoyne, where each of those diamonds is actually constructed of four smaller diamonds. And of course, I'm going to do all this with strip piecing and efficient construction methods so that you can get them done in a hurry. Now, not only do the technique sheets talk you through the processes, but they also give you the numbers to be able to create these um, blocks in lots of different sizes. And, you know, once you have some of these techniques in your hip pocket, this blazing Lemoyne is what you see in the quilt that's behind me, but I can take that as a five-star difficulty rating and actually turn it into a much easier block by making half of the block hard and half of the block a little bit easier. We also have a couple of patterns that go into other types of Lemoynes. This one is called Flying Swallows. This one is definitely challenging, but the end result is fantastic. And this one is called Water Lily. We just released this in the last year or so, and it looks a whole lot more challenging than it is. But again, make sure you're familiar with the basics before you jump into this. But add these technique sheets to your um, lineup, to your library, so that you can give your Lemoyne stars that extra special look the next time you're creating something with the Rapid Fire Lemoyne Star Tool. about Studio 180 Designs Certified Instructors. This is a team of more than 100 members of very talented quilters who have been through extensive training and they know all about Studio 180 Design tools and techniques and processes. And they're scattered around the US, throughout Canada. We have one in the Netherlands. We actually have one in Sweden as well. And these are local resources that you can invite to come to your area, to offer demonstrations, lectures, give workshops, invite them to your next retreat. You know, there's nothing like hands-on help when you're learning a new skill or a new process or a new technique. Now, to contact them, you should visit the Certified Instructor page on our website and click on the map. You can find their names of people who might be near you and give them a shout. Invite them to your next event. You're gonna be amazed at their talent, at their skills, and at their knowledge about Studio 180 Design and all the benefits of learning how to use our tools and our techniques. Now the next tool I'd like to introduce you to is one of our newer tools. It's called the Wedge Star. And this is a tool that creates blocks that look like that and you're thinking, wow, they look very similar to the Lemoyne Star Block. And you're right. They do, they're closely, closely related. They both make star blocks made with diamonds, but you'll notice when you look at the Lemoyne star block that the diamonds are kind of tipped off that north-south axis, where with the wedge star, those diamonds run true north and south and east and west. And there's a whole bunch of designs out there, quilt designs, that require this scenario which is why I created the Wedge Star tool. Now this tool has 22 different size offerings in it. And like the Lemoyne Star tool, the packaging is actually your set of directions. Now we have a full length video on how to work with all the shapes in there, but basically what's going to happen is you are going to create these by creating wedges. And those wedges have a diamond and two small wedges and like everything, I'm going to make those wedges slightly bigger than they need to be so that once the sewing and the pressing is done, I'm going to be able to use the diagonal guidelines that are on the tool to trim that down to a precision size for one of the 22 sizes that are on the project and build those blocks first into octagons and then turn them into squares by adding oversized triangles around the corners that are then trimmed and cleaned up so that the blocks are all the right size and I'm gonna have points where I need to have my points. 
in the set of directions, we actually have directions for making three different types of blocks. We have directions for making the traditional wedge star block. We have directions for creating a much simpler type block using just large wedges. And then we have instructions for making a mixed block that contains both large wedges and diamond wedges. And we use all three of those blocks in the free bonus project that's included on the set of directions. So you will simply choose your size, cut the correct number of shapes, and build your block to either a um, very large wedge star project, which is just this, made with the largest 24-inch uh, size, or all the way down to miniature size. I wouldn't start here. I'd probably start somewhere in the middle so that you can test drive the tool. So Wet Star, if you're looking at these types of kaleidoscope projects and you're thinking about making them, investigate this Wet Star tool, get it in your toolbox, and you'll be so happy. Enjoy the quilt show of some of the quilts we've created in the, just the last couple of months using the Wet Star tool. You know, if we were at a real live quilt show right now, fans of Studio 180 Design would come into my booth and the first thing they would say is, hi Deb, and the second thing they would say is, what's new? Well, we are so excited to introduce to you our newest tool, the Star 60 tool. This is a tool that I designed to bring our philosophy of oversizing into the world of 60 degree piecework. The instructions will talk about how to make all the different shapes that are normally involved with 60 degree piecework. The primary shape that we use in so many of our projects is the star 60 unit. And this shape contain, is a triangle and it contains a diamond and two side triangles. And you'll cut those shapes, the diamonds and the side triangles, out of strips using the guidelines that are on the tool to create units that are going to be slightly oversized, allowing me then to take the tool and the patented guidelines that are on there and trim that unit to exactly the right size and the right shape so that when I go to build a 60 degree project, everything is gonna to fit together beautifully and rest assured that we don't just deal with the star 60 unit. We also cover how to cut companion triangles that can be teamed up with the star 60 unit. We also address how to cut plain hexagons, how to cut half hexagons. Those are shapes that you'll see used frequently in various 60 degree projects. And like so many of our other star tools, the Lemoyne star and the wedge star, this packaging is also the set of directions. And on the back, we have a free bonus project. And we encourage you to give that a try. That's a project that you can make in any of the 17 size offerings that are on the tool. You can use one of those middle sizes to create a nice wall hanging. If you use the largest size, it'll actually make a full size quilt. And for those of you who love to do miniatures, we've got you covered there too. So the Star 60 tool, we're so excited to share with you. We can see how we create all those shapes by watching our free online video tutorials and hang around so, and see some of the projects that we've already created using our Star 60 tool.
thanks so much for joining us, and hopefully you're going to feel more confident when you go to build one of these bucket list star projects for one of your future quilts. And, you know, if you'd like to see more detailed information, consider watching our educational video tutorials that you can access by visiting our website. And hopefully you'll join us tomorrow for our third grouping of fundamental tools that are certain to add the sparkle to your next quilt.